I come from the Lil'wat Nation. The symbols that you see in my painting, those were all born out of the shapes of nature here. As an indigenous person, you're almost born with this spiritual connection to the land. There's a creek that runs down the middle of Whistler Black Home, and my great grandfather had a trap line on that creek. My great uncles grew up playing by Alta Lake, but Indian reserves were created and they were relocated. Sort of interesting to think about my ancestors trapping to survive the winters here to today where somebody from my generation is enjoying the mountain for its recreation it's such a privilege to soak up all of this majesty that the mountains have to offer When I was a little boy, I remember being in grade one and being voted the best drawer of horses <laughs> in the class. I sort of I always had that connection to, to drawing and painting. I never knew that it would be a career though. I threw together a portfolio of my work and then I applied to art school. There's something about going away from the Indian Reserve and achieving these dreams. It's like I'm not really achieving them myself, but my entire community is achieving it because I had. My aunt talks about our indigenous language as the shattered mirror that has broken into a million pieces that needs to be put back together. I thought about that during my slice series. I'm putting back together this idea of an identity that has been interrupted. Indigenous art, even before contact, has always evolved. It's all about being contemporary and using the materials to my advantage. When I first heard of the Gondola Gallery project, I jumped at the opportunity because to think of one of my paintings wrapping a gondola, it sort of transcends the art gallery. To have the aesthetics of Indigenous art emblazoned across the peak-to-peak -peak gondola, it's representational of the people who grew up here, who share the land in this place, which decades ago tried to sort of hide my people. They're now lifting us up. I'm Levi Nelson, I'm a painter and a contemporary Indigenous artist and I'm hoping that through my work people are able to see there's a rich Indigenous community thriving here. <laughs>